Now here's my tip of the day. When you dig up something, if you dig up a coin, open your screen wide open and check all around the hole for anything else. You never know what stuff comes in as. You never know what you might dig next to a coin. Well, I found a silver dime. I can see one dime on the back. My guess is it's a barber. Hell, I can't tell what kind of condition it's in, so I'm not going to rub it. I'll clean it up when I get home. I'm pretty sure it's... Well, I just dug out barber. Right here. I think it's a barber. It's silver dime. And I just dug a buffalo right here. I'm swinging a two-tone ferris right now. Well, I just dug this up. Come in at 1210. Doubtful it's gold. Well... I just stopped to take me a little water break. So I decided to clean this off. And it turns out it's an 1877 seated dime. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you guys see that? I hope you can. It's got a Carson City Mint mark. This is what that coil's doing. 2050. Flip it over to my Sunray probe. Works just fine. Flip it back. 2050. Piece of shit. Well, I'm down to using the accelerator coil. My uh, pro coil went out, so. Hey, yeah, I found a little ring. Copper, looks like. I must say, this, uh, this little accelerator coil sure likes. Hell, yeah, I just dug a 1738 on the E track, and it turns out to be an Indian head 3. That looks pretty clean too. I think it'll clean up nice. Yeah, I'm about 10 feet from that other Indian. And it looks like I found another Indian. 1887. This looks like it'll clean up pretty nice too. Yeah, it looks like I found a little hot spot with some old coins. I believe that's a V-nickel. Yep, that's exactly what it is. I'm hoping you guys can see it. 18... 1887s. Well, I just dug this. It's clearly Mark Sterling right there. Yet... I can flake it off with my thumbnail. So it's obviously not sterling. It's sterling plate. Not Chinese sterling. Fake. Well, I just found a mercury dime. 1945. Well, I just dug that mercury dime right here. Now I got another 1341 right here, about the same depth. Try a full dig on this one. Well, whatever it is, it's out of the hole. Oh, there it is. Looks like another, it's a wheat scent. 
Yeah, I found another Indian. Nineteen oh two. Looks like another nice one too. Hot spot. Alright, so I just dug that Indian right here. And I got another good Indian signal right here, same depth. Dig on this one. Yep, now it's a little higher, 2334. And it's out of the hole. It's a ring. Just junk. Hell, yeah, Barry found a mercury dime, so I gotta go over here and check it out. Get a year? Looks like a 20, but it's pretty worn right at the date. Wrong or something. Anyhow, there it is. Hell, yeah, I just dug a barber dime. Looks like an 1898. Alright, so Barry's got silver in the hole. Let's see it. Dig it out of there. Uh oh. Oh, you're shitting me. Oh, there's stacker. Two, two of them. Oh, I hope they're rosies. They are. Check to see if there's any more in there. That's it. They're rosies. What year are they? Can you tell? It's 57. 53. 57 and 53. Now I found a rosie. 1953. Looks like it's got an S mint mark. Nope, D meant Mark, Denver. I just dug what appears to be a gold ring. I dug a 1945 wheat scent right here. And I had another signal right beside it, so I figured it was a uh, nickel. It was a 1315, 1215, right beside it. And I'm hoping this is real. I don't know. Sure looks real. This has got to be real. I'll clean it up. It's got something on it right there. I don't know what that is. Like a spacer or a sizer maybe. I'll get back with you in a minute. You know, I'm not sure if you guys can read that or not. But it says 10K right inside. So that's my first piece of E-Track gold. Hadn't been for that wheat penny. I might have even skipped that signal. Sweet. Now Barry just dug a little ring. Looks like costume jewelry. The opposite side, I got it. Now Perry just dug a big ring. And when I say big, I mean gigantic. <laughs> Had a little skull and crossbones on the front. You can see where it came off. Weighs about four pounds. It's like chrome plated steel or something. Well, I just dug something up here. I can't tell what it is for sure. It doesn't look silver, but then again it does. But it rang up like a... About like an Indian head. I'm going to take it back to the truck and clean it up. We'll see what it is. Now yeah, there it is. It's Canadian. Boy, it sure looks like silver. But it's a 1980. 1986. Hell, yeah, Barry found another ring. It's Mark Sterling, but it looks awful shiny for Sterling. It's kind of flaking off, too. It might be gold-plated silver.
Ring up like a dime. Alright guys, here's the finds for the week. First off, let me uh, apologize because it's probably going to be a long video. A lot of footage and it's probably going to look pretty chopped up. Had to chop a lot of stuff up to get everything in. A lot of finds this week. Like I say, a lot of footage. Alright, second. Um, I've been having a problem with my coil on my E-Track. And I went ahead and left the footage in there of it. Or left, I'm going to leave some of it in there at least. Um, I made a few statements about it being a piece of shit and a few other things. And the reality is I have used and used and used that thing. I've used it a lot. I've had it for, well, it's coming up on three years. And, I mean, I have used it a lot. And I put it in the back of my truck. It's not treated as well as it should be so the reality of it is it's held up great um, I called mine lab they're going to replace the coil just the coil I told them that I'd put another coil on and the machine works fine so I don't have to send the whole machine in um, so I'm just gonna send it in they're gonna check it out and send me and on Wednesday and Thursday I think it was yeah Wednesday and Thursday I used my four and a half by seven accelerator coil um, on Friday and Saturday, I wrapped the Pro Coil on my E Track the opposite direction around the shaft because it's outside the shaft because of my Sunray probe. So I wrapped it the opposite direction. It seems to be working right now. I'm still going to send it in, but because it is uh, bad, but for now it's still working. So I've been using it. I used it Friday night and Saturday. I used it Wednesday night and Thursday night. It had a they picked up a ton of nickels. I mean, just a ton of nickels. It really likes low tones. I would think it'd be great if you were somebody searching for gold. I'm trying to read off a cue card if you can't tell. I've got so much stuff to talk about. Quite a bit of clad. Lots of nickels and lots of dimes this week. Really surprised. Quite a few pennies too, but I was really surprised at all the dimes. There's a lot of dimes there. Anyhow, I end up finding, like I say, three, six, seven, eight weeds, a 1909. And on Monday night, found this. I wasn't sure if it was gold or not. I don't believe it is. It it shows some signs, uh, almost like, I don't want to call it flaking, but it shows some signs of real bad discoloration and stuff along the edges. It's like, it, it might be a thin piece of gold wrapped around something. I'm sure it was a button of some sort at one time. Still a really nice looking piece. And on Monday night, I also found this seated dime in 1887. Carson City seated dime. Hopefully, you can see the mint mark. But I found this on Monday night. And I also found this Buffalo Monday night. I found this just right close to the dime uh, looks like a 1936 then on Wednesday night I went out and didn't find any clad I found or I didn't find any silver found clad and a few wheats Thursday night same thing clad and wheats Friday night I had a pretty good night um, not sure the exact order I ended up finding an 1887 Indian head Found a 1902 Indian head in great condition. Beautiful coin. Cleaned up nicely. And I found a 1903 Indian head. Another nice looking Indian. Cleaned up really nice. All three Indians cleaned up nice, but the 1887 was a bit worn. But they all three cleaned up pretty nice. And I found this 1887 V nickel. Liberty Nickel, whatever you prefer to call them. And I also found this 1945 Mercury Dime. No mint mark. This 1898 Barber Dime. No mint mark. 
1953 Roosevelt with a D mint mark for my dime trifecta Friday night. It'd been great if I'd have found this one on Friday night also, but they were they were in two different places, so um, also on Friday night I found one of these two rings. I don't remember which one. I found one I think Wednesday night maybe. One of them I found with the accelerator coil. So it was Wednesday or Thursday I found one of these two. They're just copper rings. Just then on Saturday, Barry, his brother Perry, and I, we made a little road trip. It was about, I don't know, 35, 40 minutes for us. And I ended up finding a couple rings up there. This one's iron. And to me, it looks like it was one of them spoon rings. I'm pretty sure that was a ring, though. Dime next. I also found this Canadian dime. When it came out of the hole, it, it was hard to tell if it was silver or not. It kind of looked silver, but... It's not. It's a 1986. And I also found this ring. It's got this little thing onto it that slides. I'm thinking it's a piece of a sizer. Maybe the sizer broke and that's why they lost a ring. It is Mark 10K. Mark 10K right inside. Right there. It says 10K and it's got a little TW right on the ins on, in a little circle, oval. And on Friday night, um, Barry ended up finding a 1920 Mercury Dime, a 1957 Rosie, and a 1950 Rosie, 53 Rosie it was. Found them both in the same hole. You'll see that in the video. Um, uh, what else did he find? He may have found a few other things, but nothing stands out. And then Saturday, he ended up finding two rings. Um... You'll see those in the video also. One was costume jewelry, just, just a junk ring. And then one is Mark Sterling. It looked like it might have been silver that had been gold plated. Um, it was Mark Sterling, but you, it was obvious something was flaking off of it. But it still looked silver underneath. And then his brother Perry found a just a gigantic pirate's ring. I mean, the thing had to weigh half a pound. It's a lot bigger in reality than, than what it looks in the video. Um... It was Saturday. I'm thinking that's about it. Well, I will add on Saturday when I found this ring, I was pretty happy to find it. I got lucky to find it because there was a wheat scent beside it. I may not have dug this if it wasn't for the high tone next to it. I opened the screen wide open and and I thought it was a nickel, so I dug it up. I was hoping it might it was a war nickel. Ended up being this gold ring. <coughs> and... Honestly, I'm, it's great to find a piece of gold, but I think I might have rather found a war nickel. Gold's nice and all, but I like the coins.